here welcome back to my channel it's a girl i'm here and just in case you're seeing my face for the first time you're welcome to join us so of course i don't know if if you if you heard about the rich uh, rich men north of uh, richmond if not heard the song for those of you that may not have heard it but this video i just wanted to share uh, a clip of the new video um oliver anthony shared on his on his page that is titled moving on i just wanted to show the clip but for those of you that may not have heard the song, after this clip, I'll, I'll play the song for you guys so that you guys will hear the song and know why I'm doing this about Anthony. Because Anthony, Anthony, Oliver Anthony is... Guys, whoa, I'm just looking at this page. I'm seeing that he's close to 200,000 subscribers. Guys, oh my God. I love the way people are supporting this guy so much because he is off the grid farmer. Guys, he makes music in his spare time, and you know, just you know, because he loves it. Of course, when you hear that song, you know that this man is is singing from his soul. He's just telling us stories about his day life, his day to day life. And meanwhile, it's not just him that is living that life like that. It's everybody across the whole world. You get. Uh, you know, I've always said that country music is one song, it's one genre of music that when you listen to, you will always relate to it. It's so relatable. And I love the fact that this guy is bringing it back home, telling us how country music should be and what country music is about. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Even as much as me, I'm just discovering country music, I fell in love, like I keep falling in love when I see genuine artists that are like holding it down the way country as it should but uh let us you know take a look at what uh oliver has got to tell us here i'm driving back home i had a uh, crazy time in curatuck i always have fun in curatuck whether it's 30 people or it's 12,000 people uh the morris farm market is just there's nothing else like it so thanks to them for putting it on Thanks to all y'all for coming out. There were people who uh, who flew in, people that drove down from up north. Mind blown. And uh, I mean, hell, we signed and took pictures a good four hours after the show. And it wasn't like people just came up and shook my hand. They come up and they told me about the battles they've been dealing with, uh, depression and suicide and money and You know, those are real problems. This song is not something that I've, it's not like it's some masterpiece I've created. It's the masterpiece and, and the emotions of the song, it already exists within you. Sometimes it just takes the right song coming along to, to let those out. But my question to you is when, when Oliver Anthony's long gone and forgotten about, what can you do in your own life to maintain this energy, this positivity, this unity that I see among people like I have never seen before? What are the next steps to make life better for people? What can you do for your neighbor? There used to be such a strong sense of community in this country. And you still see it a lot in small town America, but even there it's dying out. Things just change too quickly these days, you know? But humans have the ability to possess such overwhelming compassion. And it seems like we've really let ourselves focus too much on hate. I mean, humans can manifest wicked amounts of hate. We've seen it all throughout world history, even in the last 150, 200 years. I mean, just some of the atrocities, the genocides, the war. We live in an era where we have everything. You know, there were wars fought over spices. Like people died over spices. And now we can sit on the couch and we can order whatever spice we want from the comfort of our phone in the air conditioning, but we still want to fight, we still want to hate each other, we want to find reasons to hate each other, and I'm no Dr. Phil, but I just feel that in this moment in time, 
when so many people are feeling the same frustrations. It would be wonderful to capitalize on that and just use that positive energy to help other people in your life, maybe people that are different than you, people that you wouldn't normally connect with. I can tell you from my experience in the jobs I've had and all the people I've talked to, everyone has a really interesting story if you just give them the time to talk. It's easy to walk down the sidewalk by somebody and look down at the ground, look at your phone. But that really is a big part of the problem. We're all so disconnected from each other. We need to find a way to take this energy from this anomaly of a song, from this stupid guy that... I mean, look, I appreciate the compliments, but I'm, no, I'm not a good musician. I hardly know my way around the guitar. My singing's okay. That's not what made this. It's you and, and the struggles in your life. In two miles. That's what's made this Take the what it is. On the right. Find a way to start fixing those problems. Find a way to start having good conversations with people that live around you. That's all I want out of this. Guys, exactly like Oliver Bradley said, it starts with you. Um, he said he's not a good musician. He's not. But it's not even a guys. I know I'm not the only one that's thinking this. It's not about his voice. It's not about the vocals. It's not about the instrument. Cause there was no instrument apart from the guitar and just his raw voice and his raw emotion. So um, we are not looking for like the best musicians. We don't. We just want honest singers. People that are people that genuinely want the world to change for for good not the people that after their own interest or game um i just want to read out some couple of comments like i love reading out people's comments because i love to hear or i love to you know look out for the way people like mind of people to know how people are accepting or viewing things so let me just read out a couple of comments before we wrap this up guys say oliver people don't want perfect singing exactly and guitar playing People want and need exactly what you are. True. Authentic and heartfelt. Heartfelt. Head up and keep picking my friend who will keep listening. Oh, I love that. So another person said, the best musicians are the most honest, raw, relatable, and simple. You can play at a farmer's market with, with no production, no band, lights, no backup singers, and I could listen to you for hours. All the fakes out there couldn't exist even without makeup. Your songs, your playing, your singing, and yourself. Pure honesty. Pure raw talent. Thank you, Oliver, for making music from what's in your heart. Let me read one more. One last one before I wrap it up. So the emotion in your voice is absolutely amazing, mate. Mind blowing at just how awesome your music is. Feeling it, my brother. Very nice. Oh, greetings and best wishes from Australia. That's awesome, guys. Um, I would love for you guys to let me know where, you, where you're watching this from. If in your country, on your city, if this song from Oliver Anthony resonates with you, uh, well, I will just play the song out for people that are yet to hear the song in its entirety. Listen to the song and let me know your thoughts in the comment section, guys. Take care. Bye. Well, I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours. For bullshit pay so I can sit out here and waste my life away Drag back home and drown my troubles away It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to For people like me, people like you Wish I could just wake up and it not be true But it is, oh it is, living in the Look out for miners and 
not just miners on an island somewhere. Lord, we got folks in the street, ain't got nothing to eat, and the old beast milk and welfare. Well, God, if you're five foot three and you're 300 pounds, taxes ought not to pay for your bags of fudge rounds. Young men are putting themselves six feet in the ground, because all this damn country does is keep on kicking them down. Lord, it's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me, for people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. All it is, living in the new world with an old soul. These rich men know the rich men. you do and then I don't think you know but I know that you do cause your dollar ain't shit and it's taxed to no end cause the rich men know the rich men Selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay.